Rivera. Uh, 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 Rivera. Uh, uh. Yes. Good. Good. All right, welcome back. Melissa here. I'm with Paul Anthony and Jeff. Jeff George. Jeff George. Paul is Archie's trainer. All right, Paul, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. I, uh, I work down at Unleashed Doggy Daycare in Gibsonia. Um, I've been training dogs since the 80s. Actually, I started with Labrador Retrievers. Um, I was a police canine officer and I was also a bodyguard where I used my canines. And I do a sport called Mondio Ring like, like Jeff does. And, What's it uh, called? Yeah, here I am. Mondio. What's the sport called again? Mondio Ring. Mondio Ring. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, and okay. tell us a little bit about what you're doing today here with Archie here. So Archie has a hard time coming when called because he gets distracted. So what we're doing is we're going to um, have mom reward him when he comes. And if he doesn't, then we're going to stim him with um, the e-collar, the e-collar technology, um, the mini, and we're going to use that for Archie. And so far, it's been working very well. He's a very compliant dog. He understands, you know, mom. She has a good uh, relationship with him, so it should it should work well. That's good. I'm impressed so far. Really, I, I mean, he, he's. Been... And here yeah. in a little bit, we're going to show you a few dogs that are a little further advanced. <laughs> They yeah, are, they'll be Archie's role models. Yeah, <laughs> something to shoot for. Something to shoot for. Right? Don't speak too soon, now. Yeah. Okay. Well. Jeff, tell us about what you do a oh, little yeah. bit. So my name's Jeff. Uh, I recently retired from the service. Uh, I met Paul about a year ago. Mm -hmm. I have uh, a Dutch Shepherd uh, Scout. He's two and a half. I got him from Charcar Kennels up in Michigan. Uh, and I was just looking for a trainer and something to do, uh, sport-wise. Yeah. And uh, I reached out to Paul. We've been working ever since for about a year or so. Mm -hmm. And uh, I help him out occasionally from time to time on some things. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now, where, where all have you guys competed with your dogs? Oh, I've competed in uh, Belgium, Spain, France, Czech Republic, Poland. Um, and Finn was actually came in third in the world in Russia in 2018. He was eighth in um, Czechoslovakia, um, and yeah, it's uh, at, at the FMBBs. He actually has more Ring Three titles than any dog in the United States right now. So yeah, he's a pretty amazing dog. He's he, he's retired now. He's he's 11. You'll you'll be able to see him. But I got him off of uh, Debbie Skinner um, in in California. She has amazing Malinois. So yeah. Yep. Very cool. He's how old? He'll be 11 in yeah. October. I, I thought so, and when I met him, he looks like he's two. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, he's he's yeah. a very active dog, very social dog. But like yep. when you came, you're the one dog, we'll show you here in a little bit, but it's just the door's open to the car, mm -hmm. he's just hanging out until he's, you say a word. Yeah, he's in there now. He's, he's just hanging out there, you know, and that's the dog that came in third in the world yeah you know so he did all the work i i messed up more than he did so he did all the work wow. so he's the brains of the operation <laughs> so just like just like scout is for jeff right. so right. yep. and what kind of dog is scout 
scout is a Dutch Shepherd. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dutch Shepherd. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we were at your facility, we met the Australian Shepherd. Yeah, it's a bug. Where I was, yep. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. and, and so tell us, what all do you train dogs to do and for what types of clients and things? So we have, we, we do service dogs, we do therapy dogs, we do basic obedience, we do advanced obedience, we do nose work, um, detection work. So we, we do it all, behavior modification, we also train in, in Mondio Ring and sport dog mm -hmm. stuff. So we, we basically just about do it all down at Unleashed. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, and I'll put a link, before I forget, I'll make sure I put a link in the description of your guys' website. You have a YouTube channel, don't you? No, I, I use Unleashed. Okay. Yeah, I use Unleashed, but, but you can uh, see Finn compete in California and Russia where he came in third on YouTube. Okay, cool. Someone saw that. So I put some footage on my channel, Morgan's Off the Leash, and someone had commented or sent us an email saying that they had, mm -hmm. they were aware of that. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed. That's amazing. It is. It's... Archie's doing good so far. Mm -hmm. He is. So don't even say anything. Just go ahead and walk. So now you'll see that he even wants to stay with you even more. And then don't forget, if you we, we can go out this way again. Yeah, Call him to you. Archie. Yeah, that's my next question. Is um he wants to be mm -hmm. leader. Yep. And so we might as well try with the distractions. Yeah. So if you want to bring them out, sure, we can do this. Alright. See how he stopped and he was anticipating that. That's all right. Go ahead, turn around one more time, please. And don't call him. Okay, go ahead, call him. Archie's gonna be worn out. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. He goes all day. When the sun goes down, done. Keep going. Oh, I bet. Okay, turn around. Then the next time, if you don't mind, we're gonna go, if you can walk straight up the hill. Okay. Just change up direction and stuff. Yep. Because if he's, um, if he's the most adrenalized here, then, and anywhere he's at, whether it's walking in the woods or on the tra trail, yeah. this is where we want to start this at. So, and you see, he started looking around where he was, where you were calling him. Yeah. So he's like, hey, are you gonna call me? But this is what it needs to be. Yeah. That's me in the back, Jeff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you're just making sure everything's okay back there. Yeah. That's, that's just why you're in the back. You're towing. Okay, go ahead, turn up. No, keep going. And Yep, keep going, because he, he anticipated that. Okay, now you can turn around. Go ahead, call him. Good, there you go. Better? Yeah, much better. I have a, a miracle. I am excited. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy, Archie. Good boy, Rue. Way to go, Archie. Good job, buddy. Now, will he know if I'm not confident? And oh, absolutely. So, so, and it's like it's like the kids, too. So, if you bring somebody through something and you're, like, walking like this, yeah. automatically they can tell, and they're like, whoa, what's wrong with mom? Because yeah. you're like, if you go, hey, let's yeah. go. And they're like, oh, okay, mom's good. Okay, I'm good. So you're just, you know, and it's the same way with your husband. You can be walking down somewhere and you see somebody with a samurai sword. Automatically, yeah. he's going to squeeze your hand for a second right. yeah. and you're going to be like, what? Because right. you're going to get that reaction. Right. So and if you, right, transferred. right. Hey, Everything hey, transfers yeah. down the line. So he's going to walk around and sniff everything and and I'll let him do it for a minute or two just to work it out and then I'll kind of reel him in some. 
You know, he's also a, a younger dog. So he's, he's still, oh, where are the girls? Oh, there's a girl around. You know that, so he's, he's very much into that. Um, all of the new stuff, you know, he, he will get distracted by that. Good. Ready? Hey, are you gonna work? Yes or no? Yes or no? You ready to work? Huh? Yes or no? I just want to get him in the right mental state, you know? Hey, come here. Good. Good. Down. All right, so Scout the Dutchie. Um, he's a two, two and a half year old Dutch Shepherd. Uh, we got him from Charcar Kennels, which is up in Michigan. Um, like I said, he's primarily, or his, his first task is to do protection for the family. So that's one of the main reasons that I got him. Um, you know, he's also my best bud. He goes with me everywhere. Um, and then kind of from there, we work sport. So as we said, we do Mondio Ring, um, which is a protection sport. Um, in that, you have to do obedience, um, protection, and then agility, like jumps. So, you know, the point of all of that is, is he's not the best in the ring because that's not his primary job. Um, I do that, uh, one for me, two for him, you know, that forces us to go out, to be active, busy, to learn. Uh, it exposes him to new things uh, that works on his temperament, his nerves, uh, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, in, in one hand, I'm, I'm asking him to do some things that it's, he's not really best suited to do. Uh, but that's okay, we work through it. So, what I'm gonna do right now, uh, which will uh, you can also do with Archie, is I'm just gonna do some basic food luring um, and reward presentation and then mark the behavior. So, in, in dog training, um, you always want to mark the behavior, whether that's good or bad. Um, and it, you can make that very complicated, but to simplify it, uh, when the dog is doing what you want it to do, you mark that with good. The, the word doesn't matter. You can use any words, but we try to keep it simple. So when Scout does what I want him to do, I tell him good. So I've marked that behavior. Um, and I will reward him. When he is done with that behavior uh, or that exercise, and it's the behavior that I've asked for, then I'll release him with another command, which is yes. Um, and then on the other side of that, when he's not doing what I want him to do, as we talked about earlier, um, if he's not doing what I want you to do, I'll give him a, a uh-uh, you know, something like that. He got uh, like maybe one or two seconds and if he continues with that, then he gets a no. And with that is usually some form of correction. Uh, so I will use an e-collar uh, and I use a pinch collar as well. Um, and, you know, as with anything, the timing of your rewards is that will make or break uh, the training in the dog. So if you don't mark the behavior and reward it at the appropriate time, you confuse the dog. The dog doesn't quite totally understand what he's getting rewarded for, etc. Um, so just uh, a quick once over right there. So like I said, I'm just going to do some basic food luring. I'll work through some positions and um, and mark the behavior and, and you can kind of see that. So you can absolutely do this with Archie incorporated into, it's just kind of a foundational thing with dog training. You can incorporate that into uh, your training and it'll help you along with other things as well. Scout, sit. Good. Good, are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, come on. Good. Good. Stay. Heel. Good. 
Let's go. Good. Down. Stay. So one of the things that we have to do is a long down. So you put the dog down. He has to stay there. You have to walk away. Go oh. talk to the judge. Oh. Do different things on the field or whatever. Okay. Um, and clearly he's got to stay there. Now yeah. there's obviously a practical aspect of that as yeah. well if you're doing protection or as a working dog, etc. Good. Sit. Good. Yes. Good. Good. Ready. Ready. Good. Good. So it's kind of like power steering. You're using the food to get the dog where you want him to go. So I'll let him check out. He comes back. Good boy. Good. People, uh, they forget about praise. You know, so a reward can be praise just as much as food. Good boy. Good. What do you see? Huh? Good. So now you see he's ready. Okay. Now, let's go. Come on. Come on. Back up. Back up. Back up. Down. Stand. Sit. Stand. Back. Back. Down. Yes. Good. Good job. Good. Ben. Out. Down. So I'll show you this too. And then Jeff. Absolutely. So this is like, hey, if you guys get done, you can go out and play baseball, softball, whatever else. So this right here, and I'll have, Jeff's going to show you how to tug. I want, once he shows you, then you and your daughter can do it just to see out, you can do it with Finn, and then you can see the difference in his son, too. So this is a big reward. So they work for this, just like do Jeff's dog worked for food. And Jeff's dog does the same thing for the equipment. So... Here. Uh, sit. Revere. 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 Uh-uh. Revere. Yes. Go ahead. Good job, buddy. Good job. So, and he wants to play with me. You see him bringing it back to me. Ah. Sit. Good. Out. Good. Heel. So then, we can do all kinds of healing. And so wherever I go, he should follow me. So, no matter what. And then once he does, yes. Then he gets a reward. Good job, bud. Here. Out. Hey. Heel. Middle. Good. Heel. Yes. Here. Up. Down. So I'll show you another thing, too, is I'll give him a little cue. So... Um, and then what he'll do, he'll freeze up and then he won't bite this until I tell him. And then after that, I'll have Jeff tug with him and then you guys can tug with him after that. And you can use your tug, you can use this tug, whatever you want. Defense, good. So I'll walk with him and then I'll just do a couple exercises with him. So then I'll walk and I'll... Good. So I just do a little cue. Good. Here. Out. Heel. Good. Out. 
Here you go, Jeff. When you're starting out, clearly you don't want this right in front of you. Now he's a very safe dog. He targets very well. He's not gonna miss, but better safe than sorry. So what you wanna do is you wanna have the toy or the tug off to your side. Okay. Now you will see a difference in the dogs, um, but you definitely want to have a good grip. Uh, you wanna make sure that your presentation is right. So if it's like this, the dog is coming in here. So if this is where he is targeting and you're holding it here, he's either gonna come up and miss or, and push that into you, you know, or try to, so the point is, is make sure that this is the appropriate angle. You know, it's where you want it to be. So when the okay. dog comes in and strikes. Okay. Um, and then, you know, you, you, you gotta hold on to it. Right. Uh, it's a reward, it's fun for the dog, right? right? So you wanna make it fun for him. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna get close, like you are with you, where you guys should be. Okay. He's gonna give him a word. Yes. So now he's gonna tug with him. Just like that. And I just kind of let him do his thing. And then what? Out. Wow. And then I just walk away. <laughs> See how he's watching it. Now when I get ready, I'll just hold it off. Yes. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. Wow. Good. Okay, you can out him and then they can go. So now, oh, come on, mom. So I tell him all done. Yes, Jeff, yes. yes. Oh. Yes. Tell him. Oh, Finn, yes. Yes. So tug with him. Yes. And then now Finn out. Finn, out. Ah. Finn, out. Good. Now you're going to do it again? Whenever you're ready. I can't believe he's 11. This is just, just, I got it. just remember, you're talking to a dog who is like, he's fighting you. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead up a little bit. Go ahead up a little bit. And Finn. tell him. Yes. There you go. Tell him Finn out. Finn out. Finn out. Tell him all done. All done. That's right. pretty exciting. That's uh, that dog is strong, really strong. Very. Yeah. So tell us what we were it's doing incredible. there exactly. All we were doing is just rewarding the dog for giving us behaviors. So we, the, the dogs love to play and, and to fight like that. So we fight with them, it's like a sparring match. Yeah. And they really enjoy that. And, and you can see, no matter if it was her, Jeff, you know, your daughter, me, whoever it was, they yeah. just love to do that. So that's a big reward to them. Okay, really cool. We learned a lot today, we did. And, uh... They all have such different personalities, and yeah. it's just guys trying to figure out what works for a them. Absolutely, and like I said, I would love to invite you guys out when Carlos is there, yeah. so you can see, you know, not only in with the tug, but with a full bite suit, and, and how the dogs react, and how obedient they are. Yeah. You know, when we say out, boom, they out. When we yeah. tell them heal, they heal. When we tell them middle, they middle. So, and, it, you know, this is a big thing for them, to be obedient, you know, and then go after something that they really right. want. Right. Well, we really, we're going to definitely do more of this at some point. We mm -hmm. really appreciate yeah. you guys coming out. That was, uh, we learned a lot, and I think Archie had a good I day, I think too. so. I just want to uh, touch on that. So what we went from Archie not coming to his name, and within 20 minutes of using the lead, mm -hmm. and the reward is Archie's favorite, a treat, and switching directions, he came to me where we worked in the front yard and I even said to Paul, I, I'm not sure if he's gonna pick up on me being like, I'm not completely confident to doing it and then taking that lead off. And he still, I walk one direction, come back calm and uh, he came. So in a matter of 20 minutes, that's pretty impressive. That is, <laughs> but that was great. We really appreciate it. And uh, like I said, I'll put a link in the description for more information for you guys. But yes, sir. We appreciate it. You guys are yeah, doing what you do. Yeah, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you very much. Great,